Whoever sees this, hit subscribe right now. Get a free conjunction. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. What's going on, YouTube? It's Winnelly Knoxville, and we are back. We are back with our reaction series. So today, today, man, this has been stirring up in the pot for a while. You guys have been requesting, requesting, and requesting this. So today, I am a man of the people. It is time to return to the magical, mystical world of Bo Burnham. And this right here is words, words, words. But before getting further, listen, I'm going to give a quick shout out to the Patreon guys. Exclusive reactions and content on there. A great way to support the channel directly is by joining up with the Patreon family and community. You want to support me and support the channel? I'll put the link to it below. But anyways, anyways, you know what we're here for. Bo, step back up to the plate. Let's see what you've got. What's up, internet? You guys good? Hi, Bo. Me too. Uh... I'm just sitting here in my bedroom. <laughs> what is happening? It's like a ride at Disney World. Now. No, you can see like the little sort of in and out of the editing, like he's in front of a green screen with like the play of his hair because some of his hair comes in and comes out. Oh, I'm selling out. Let's go. He's selling out. Is that a Mario star and a cat in space? I want to play this video game. I'm a feminine m and a slim shady lady, but nice because I texted Haiti. 90 lady cops in the road and I'm a rest of a doing 80. Like Hamlet, all about words. 90 female cops on the road and I was arrested for doing 80. Not for doing 80 miles per hour, but for, you know, having a little bit of coitus with 80 of those female cops and being a feminine Eminem, especially in the classic shady days when he was just <laughs> getting called out left and right for being a misogynist. Oh, I love, I love the irony. I love how he just punches in just with the bars right away. Like there's no slowing down on this. It's very unapologetic, but Hey, I did good things too. Don't forget when the earthquakes happen, I helped Haiti. We all texted it. I'm a feminine m and Even the eight mile road light right there. I love it. A slim shady lady, but nice because I texted Haiti. 90 lady cops. Oh, God. Not much here. Not like texted them actually to like send aid. <laughs> no, he texted Haiti like, what's up? Oh, God. Feminine m and A slim shady lady, but nice because I texted Haiti. 90 lady cops in the road, and I'm a rest of a doing 80. Like Hamlet, all about words, words, words. Divide a hole into thirds, thirds, thirds. I'm a gay sea otter. I blow other dudes out of the water. I'm the gay sea otter blowing other dudes because if you're gay right you're giving a blow job versus the saying of blowing someone out of the water and then also even the hamlet lines like the man knows his shakespeare because in hamlet literally he's quoting words 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 and if you think about it words 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 is divided into thirds and he's basically taking like the whole note of a beat and dividing it into thirds with the scheme I'm a rest of a doing 80 like Hamlet all about words 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 divide a hole into thirds 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 I'm a gay sea otter I blow other dudes out of the water I'm the man muffin diving muffin cold and fly like an arctic puffin puffin wacky I'm the man muffin but it also makes you think because of like the 80 cops lines and all of that like when you're diving into a muffin and doing a little bit of carpet munching there Muffin die. But the Muffin Man, I will never think about my childhood the same way again. Do you know the Muffin Man? I don't want to know. Bo's Muffin Man. Muffin, cold and fly like an arctic puffin, puffin. Wacky to baggy. Hate another rapper like I'm Helga Pataki. Cold and fly. He's a cold ass MC versus being a fly MC versus being an arctic puffin in the arctic, which is very cold and has to fly. Our, this is it. Like, if you don't like pausing, leave now because this is we are all in. Fly like an arctic puffin puffin Wacky to baggy Hate another rapper like I'm Helga Pataki And I've been rocking this mic before electricity What in the football head Hey Arnold bars Helga Pataki Take me back to those days Wacky to baggy Hate another rapper like I'm Helga Pataki And I've been I mean, Helga, Helga was a hater Helga was a hater But you know what Let's. It's Bo So we're gonna break this down even deeper Right We're gonna give it to him Because Helga had a secret crush On Arnold And just hated him On the surface level a lot like these other rappers, right? If, if they hate on Bo, secretly they love him. And maybe Bo secretly loves everybody and wants to just give them all a big rainbow hug. 
like an arctic puffin puffin waggy the baggy hating other rappers like i'm helga pataki and i've been rocking this mic before electricity way back in a thousand bce that's before the common era 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 Ever, ever, ever sounds like a DJ turntable scratch right there, but also like diving like into computer, into computer, into computer, like a computer error. But rocking this mic, literally, if he was doing it before the common era, aka BCE, aka BC before Christ time, versus the common era, which comes after or AD, as most people refer to it nowadays. This is, this is just this is just ridiculous when you rock the microphone like an MC like you're dominating it versus if you're back before electricity times then maybe you're running around like a caveman and you don't even need to invent fire because when you're bow you just spit that hot fire best five rappers of lie dylan 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 and bo burnham let's go rocking this mic before electricity way back in a thousand bce that's before the common era 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 i can't be stopped flow so sick that it should be mopped up chicks got a dixie cup i got a dick full of helium i'll fuck you up a boy Chick's got a Dixie cup, so not like A cup or B cup. No, we're measuring it by Dixie cups. And then if you have a rapper's flow versus like if the flow is sick because he's vomiting on the floor, so he's sick with his skills versus the sick vomit on the floor that gets mopped up. More of an obvious bar, but you know what? We're going to break them all down. Be mopped up. Chick's got a Dixie cup. I got a dick full of helium. I'll fuck you up. A boy. A Dick, that's 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 a good one right there. That's a Valentine's Day card. I have a dick full of helium. Girl, you want to get fucked up? Be mopped up. Chick's got a Dixie cup. Oh. I got a dick full of helium. I'll fuck you up. Nice. A boy, a girl, a middle-aged bitch. Botox in the third person. I get the perspective of switching. Botox in the third person. Just relax. If you want to... Are you kidding me? That's so cool. That's the most clever bar so far, right? A girl, a boy, a middle-aged bitch. Botox in the third person. Well, the girl is first. The boy is second. The middle-aged female is third. Right? So that would be the third person. So she's getting Botox. B-O-T-O-X. Versus Bo space T-A-L-K-S because he switched it up and referred to himself in the third person as Bo is now talking in the third person. Boy, a girl, a middle-aged bitch. Botox in the third person. I get the perspective of switch and Botox in the third person. Just relax. If you want to know me, here's two facts. I hate catchy chorus. say hungry hungry hypocrite like hungry hungry hippos days when you tried to nom 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 as many of those little balls as you could don't worry you can insert a sexual innuendo there if you want boys and girls just don't call me a catholic priest look at that it feels like a, a boy band take me back to the nsync days right there except bo doesn't need anyone else in his amazing pop group it's just him and this majestic unicorn but really he is more beautiful than this unicorn in this scenario and i hate catchy choruses but i'm a hypocrite you know why i'm a hypocrite because i'm gonna give you a catchy chorus right here right now greatest chorus i've ever heard Choruses, and I'm a hypocrite. yes also if we're talking like hamlet greek tragedy maybe well that's shakespearean tragedy but anyways let's let's give it to him because it's Bo and he's a super intelligent dude but if you're playing off of like being an actor, the etymology for hypocrite goes back to the days of when Greek actors used to wear masks. And the reflection is, you know, you're kind of a hypocrite in that contrariness to the mask versus what's within. Well, they were just called actors that wore the mask and acted. So, a.k.a. he's a hypocrite because he's an actor as well. Met a girl named Macy. I had sex with her all day, but she was dyslexic. So I ended up doing the YMCA. We both. Wow, uh, I will never think about hooked on phonics the same way again. And you can just stick your dick in a book. The Reading Rainbow. Hey, but she was dyslexic, so I ended up doing the words. Clever. Let's 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 do the YMCA. Macy, flip it around if you're dyslexic, can't get the words right. It's alright. It's YMCA. It's all good. And again, I gotta talk about the beat. I haven't talked about the production yet. Just simple synthy keyboard sounds. That are like just like it's very scaled back. It's not like there's a ton going on. Except right here, he threw in like some strings, like some impact strings. Dun, 
uh, just to like highlight his punchlines, but it's really guided by his delivery and his sort of conversational style. It's almost like he's doing a comedy show in rap form. There's just a lot of personality injected into the delivery of each and every line. It's very like laid back and at ease, but there's so many bars. I had sex with her all day, but she was dyslexic. So I ended up doing the YMCA. We ballin' Asian, we bowlin' prostate cancer, semicolon. Find that hole like I'm Stephen Hawking. Atticus. We ballin' Asian, we bowling. So it makes me think of like Nintendo in we bowling, but also like we're ballin', we're ballin' out. But could also be like... Like balls in, baby. We're we're going balls in on this. Be bowling, prostate cancer, semicolon. Find that hole like I'm Stephen Hawking. I just thought about that line. Prostate cancer, semicolon. Because if you have prostate cancer and you get some of your prostate removed, well, you don't have a a full colon. You have a semicolon. Get it? Versus the grammatical semicolon. We bowling, prostate cancer, semicolon. Find that hole like I'm Stephen Hawking. Atticus Finch, killing, mocking. Cry like a child. Like I'm serious. Like he even like has his voice kind of changed there for the Stephen Hawking bar. But also you can think about like finding the hole in the colon the that we talked about, you know, aka your a-hole. So we're finding that hole. So you got sexual innuendos versus like maybe the hole, like the period part of the semicolon. What is happening? Like I'm Stephen Hawking. Atticus. How did grammar and sex come together so beautifully with Bo Burnham? It does. Finch killing mocking. Cry like and then Atticus Finch killing mocking to kill a mocking bird. Atticus Finch was the lawyer in to kill a mocking bird. Thank you, English literature class. Find that hole like I'm Stephen Hawking. Atticus Finch killing mocking. Cry like a child would. <laughs> you rape my childhood. Just stroll in. Roll in your pole to roly poly oly's colon. Just stroll in, roll your pole into Roly Poly. I will never think of Roly Poly Oly again. I mean, that's that that's a kid's program. But his childhood was rape. Get it? And also into killing a mockingbird, Atticus Finch defends Tom Robinson for being charged with rape. So in this case, he's playing off of literally. He's killing the verse. He's mocking everyone with it. To kill a mockingbird, he gives us the plot of it and turns it into bars and just flips it on us while literally playing off of the R A, you know, I'm not going to say the word again because I want to monetize this video of uh, Roly Polioli. So the pole is going into the hole and uh, birds and the beast, kids. There you go. Killing, mocking, cry like a child would. <laughs> you rape my childhood. Just stroll in, roll in your pole into Roly Polioli's colon. <laughs> I mean, even that is just a simple like segue bar. Take a walk by the clock to pass the time. He's literally passing the time versus the proverbial saying of passing the time. To relax my mind and take a walk by the clock and I pass the time and rhyme in mathematical time and syntax and taxi and tack time and I'm in syntax impacts the way he puts his words together. It impacts the intact. Hyman, very good rhyme scheme right there. But also, Hyman, we're still playing off of holes and pulls and sexual innuendos. Ladies, check those Hymans. Rhyman, mathematical time and syntax and taxi and tack time and I'm an internet provider. Came from the web like a horny spider. Fucked a girl in an apple orchard. Then came inside her. I thought, hey. This is just silly. This, this, this is silly at this point in time. I'm an internet provider. We also call the internet the World Wide Web came from the web so he came from the internet versus like a spider who's horny coming in a spider's web versus apple cider bars he's coming inside of her or apple cider because if he's in an apple orchard that's some delicious apple cider seasoned with a little bow for you spider fuck the girl ladies come on don't be mad at me okay it's good to swallow it's good for your teeth that's just science an apple orchard then came inside her i thought aids was a butt virus like conjunction junction conjunctivitis i spit gold conjunction junction what's your function wow take me back to the schoolhouse rock days but also butt virus you know the classic uh especially when AIDS was first starting to take off and it was just being published as solely a gay virus because if you have butt sex, therefore you get AIDS and that's why gay is bad in those days because you can get AIDS, yeah. But uh, obviously science has advanced more than just that. But he's playing off of the butt virus versus 
a conjunction, if, and, or but. So a grammatical conjunction, in this case, a but virus, get the connection. And I think there's even more here to it. I thought AIDS was a but virus, like conjunction, junction, conjunctivitis. Virus. So if you have conjunctivitis, like pink eye, you have a virus in your eye. So that ties in with that. But conjunction, junction. We talked about the conjunction, junction, schoolhouse rock reference versus a but in a conjunction. And you put the junction together. If you hit a junction, like a T junction, if you take the but out of conjunction, that's B U T, but that doesn't spell our ass, people, does it? That spells the conjunction. If you want to make it about asses and butts and aids, you got to add another T. So throw in that T junction, and there we go. B U T T. Wow, this is beautiful. This is poetic. Cider. I thought AIDS was a butt virus, like conjunction, junction, conjunctivitis. I spit gold bars because I was molested by my uncle Midas. Gay dad blow pops, another sucker. Oedipus was the first motherfucker. I hate catch. Oedipus, right? Oedipus was the first motherfucker, the Greek tragedy of Oedipus, who finds out that he was actually banging his mom and he didn't realize it. And then what he does is after that, he literally gouges his eyes out. So Bo taking the blow pops, playing off of the gay bars and blowing someone and then being molested by his uncle Midas because Midas had the golden touch. He's giving you gold bars. Do you see how many layers are stacked on this? He is giving us these golden bars while gouging his eyes out, blowing dudes. We're having a great time banging moms as well. Let's get it. Dad's blow pops, another sucker. Oedipus was the first motherfucker. I hate catchy chorus. Yes. Is there five? There's got to be five. That is a boy band that is shouting out like the NSYNCs and the Backstreet Boys of the day. Sucker. 98 degrees, anyone? 98 degrees? Come on. Comment below. Who was your favorite boy band back then? I want to know. Oedipus was the first motherfucker. I hate catchy choruses and I'm a hypocrite. Yeah, hypocrite. Hungry, hungry hypocrite. I don't know what that move was. If you saw it, I'm sorry. I hate catchy choruses and Yes. We the people of the USA, Jose, we're not talking to USA, we got a board. We the people of the USA, and you talk about the obesity epidemic, and he shows a lot of overweight people having a lot of sugar. Welcome to the USA, American food. Mm. We the people of the USA, Jose, we're not talking to USA, we <laughs> got a border in order to keep you out, it's on my NYU. USA versus U, comma, S-A. The Spanish, come hey, on. Hey, Jose, we're not talking to USA. We got a border in order to keep you out. It's what my NYU essay is about because we're xenophobic. NYU essay, an essay, the word play on that versus USA to you. Spanish essay versus the U essay that I'm writing and penning. That's great. That is really good rhyme writing. Order to keep you out. It's what my NYU essay is about because we're xenophobic warrior princess molested by my uncle Sam. We're xenophobic and yeah, a lot of people are uh, not very friendly to foreigners and understanding of other cultures versus the days of Xena warrior princess. Take me back to the golden age. NYU essay is about because we're xenophobic warrior princess molested by my uncle Sam. Is that incest? I want you to smell my finger. Does my nephew scent still linger? South of queer. I want you. The classic Uncle Sam posters trying to recruit you to go fight in World War One. I. I want you versus he saying like the government is molesting him. So he's getting molested by the proverbial Uncle Sam. That's I want you. And then he's taking that image, which I will never think about the same way again, because now Uncle Sam, instead of pointing at me to enlist, is now pointing at me to smell his finger. No. Does smell my finger, does my nephew scent still linger? South of queers, north of hell. The queer one sucked and the brown one smell. We got South of queers. That can only be our great northern backyard, also known as Canada. If you're Canadian, sorry, I'm not sorry. Um, <laughs> north of hell. Mexico is hot, so now Mexico is hell. That's fun. The gay ones suck. Well, yes, um, giving blowjobs and, and sucking versus like, hey, you suck. You're just bad at life. Also versus the smell, the brown ones, like a brown piece of shit may smell versus the brown ones. Obviously, Bo does not feel this way, but what he is trolling is people who do feel this way and express themselves in this way. Still Welcome to America. South of queers, north of hell. The queer ones sucked and the brown ones smell. We guard the border and we got it well, but some slip through the cracks of the Liberty Bell. Did I say...
not the, not the Liberty Bell. I remember that field trip to Philly. And still linger. South of queer. Liberty Bell has a crack in it. For the hell, the queer ones suck and the brown ones uh, smell. We guard the border and we Oh, get the queer ones, right? Slip through the cracks as well. There's a lot of sexual innuendos in this. I feel like I need to have a condom on when I break this down. What? Well, but some slip through the cracks of the Liberty Bell. Did I say Liberty? I meant Taco Paco. Hey, I better let that rock go. Cause in real life, Goliath wins and then sells all the silk that the widow spins. One wow. There was a lot in that. So he plays off for Liberty Bell. Did I say Liberty? No, you're not getting Liberty. Paco, I meant Taco. Go make me some tacos at Taco Bell with that awful grade D meat. All right, Taco Bell. Only have it when you're drunk. Otherwise, no, don't do it. Go to Chipotle. Cause in real life, Goliath wins and then sells all the silk that the widow spins. Hang on, there were more lines there. Well, but some slip through the cracks of the Liberty Bell. Did I say Liberty? I meant Taco Paco. Hey, I better let that rock go. Cause in real life, Goliath wins and then sells. Better let that rock go. So David versus Goliath. David with the slingshot and the rock. But in this case, he's saying Goliath, a.k.a. Uncle Sam, a.k.a. America, normally wins. You're not going to win this border battle. Also playing off of let that rock go, like rock, as in crack, a crack rock, versus drugs coming across the border, aka from Mexico in the drug trade. Oh, Bo with the layers yet again. The silk that the widow spins one more time. I Sells all the silk that the widow spins. Come on, come on, the silk trade. My man is giving us global international economics right here. If I say Marco, Bo saying Polo. This is it. <laughs> hungry, hungry hypocrite. I hate catchy I like how he's bringing like all the different characters who have had cameos in this together. Like this, just unison. This is this is just magical right here. I'm a hypocrite. Yeah. Break it down now. What? Bitches and hoes, both hoes. Oh, bitches and hoes. Bitches, hoes. Bitches and hoes don't exist because the hoes. So Bo says bitches and hoes, but if Bo was really a feminist, he would not be saying bitches and hoes. But what he does very cleverly here is he puts a qualifier before that. He says that bitches and hoes do not exist because if they did, they would know that Bo's a feminist. See what he does? Therefore, you can't say that I'm going against being a feminist because you don't actually exist in the first place. That is beautiful circular logic right there. Politicians should take some notes of this. Feminist, bitches and hoes don't exist because the hoes know Bo's a feminist. Take off your bras and burn them versus Bo could burn them for you or Bo's last name, Bo Burnham. I mean, sometimes you just hit a moment in life when you realize you've come across a classic, whether it's in literature, in one of the greats reading Tolkien for the first time, or great poetry, or sometimes great music that just stirs the heartstrings and just hits you with a wave of emotions that you still can't even process and you know will linger and have an impact on you for the rest of your life. This is not one of those songs. This song was hilarious. It was filled with so many bars, so much clever wordplay. Oh, Bo is, Bo is a naughty boy, but you know what? We enjoy it, man. I love the humor to it. I love the visuals as well. And just, yeah, just stacked. Punch lines upon punch lines upon wordplay and wordplay. Let's get it. Bo Burnham, you were Knoxville certified. Hope you guys liked today's video. Let's here at the end. Obviously, enjoy the content. Do me a huge favor. Support the channel directly. Subscribe notifications on it. Really, really does go a long way. I love you. Stay safe. Stay positive. It's Marley Knoxville. You know, I'll catch you again.